now let's go test a wireless connection. So for wireless connection, we need an access point, which is in the network devices, wireless devices. So I'll choose the simplest access point possible. It's access point PT. And uh, now we need a bunch of devices. I will select a PC, a laptop, and, and a smartphone so we can see how we can work with three of them. All right, you can see the phone connected immediately because it doesn't have a password yet. So first we need to set the name or SSID and password for our access point. Let's go to the access point, config, and in port one, the port zero is for wired connection and uh, port zero is for wireless connection. So the SSID is the name of the Wi-Fi. When you turn on your your phone and go to the Wi-Fi settings, all of the Wi-Fi's that are shown, the name of them is the SSID. So I'll put dgdev for the SSID, and the password type gonna be in the authentication. Uh, I will put it VPA2 PSK. It's the most secure password type for for access points you can get. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. I will just put a simple password. So now you can see the connection between the smartphone and the access point has been disconnected because. Uh, we set a password for the access point. So let's connect the access point. First, let's test the PC. For uh, in order to PC, in order we connect to the access point with the PC, first we need to add the module for the wireless connection. And uh, in order to do that, first we turn off the computer. The already installed module is for wired connection. We will take it and put it in the module to be remove it immediately. And uh, the module that we need to add is VMP300N. So let's take the module, replace it with the old one and uh, turn on the computer again. Now we have access to the wireless. Um, we can access to the wireless. And in the desktop, we have a PC wireless. Let's click on it. You can see it has a nice menu. It's all visual. It, we, uh, we can add it in the config wireless uh, with the uh, SSID and password we set for the access point. But let's do it in the visual section of desktop. OK, so in the connection, you can see here we have DigiDev with 39% uh, signal and uh, the physical tab if we go here you can see a circle purple circle that is the radius of the strength of the signal so if I click on it you can see the wireless is on the main wiring closet and let's put the PC and the other devices inside the closet Okay, now if I go here again in here, let's refresh. It will take a little bit of time, so if it didn't find it immediately, just wait. And uh, you can see here the signal is 100% now. Let's click on it, send connect, and here we need to add our password. It has 1234567891. So let's say connect and you can see our connection has been established. And for the laptop is exactly the same. Weirdly, laptops in Cisco packet tracers don't have the uh, wireless connection by default wireless module. And uh, so we need to turn off the laptop just like the computer and add the wireless module for the laptop. And let's turn it on again, go to desktop, PC wireless, connect. Let's wait a little to find for it to find the wireless. 
as I said, it might take a little, little bit of time, so be patient and uh, do not close the window. Okay, now it's taking weirdly long time. Okay, it found it. Let's put the password and hit connect. Okay, it's connected now. And for the mobile, um, one thing that is, is the mobile doesn't have a visual place to connect to the Wi-Fi. We need to do it manually in the config, wireless zero, and uh, in the VPA to PSK, here is the password type that we set, and here is the password, okay, press enter and close the tab, it will connect in a second. In the meanwhile that it's connecting, let's go add an IP address for each of them. So the IP address is going to be a static, going to be 192, 168, 1, 1, 10. Oh, one thing I, uh, I forgot to do for the uh, mobile is to set the SSID. The SSID was DGDEV. So we didn't set the SSID that it's gonna, going to connect because because of that it took a little bit time. So now that we changed it, it connected immediately. And the IP address, I will just copy it and paste it and set the 10 to 11 okay for the smartphone as well gonna be 12 all right now let's test the connection so let's test uh, sending a packet from the computer to the mobile let's say go to the simulation mode and send the packet okay you can see it's processing packet access point let's see okay it sends the packet to all of the devices but the other devices weren't meant to uh, get this packet it's uh, it's meant for the specific IP address of this smartphone and the smartphone receive it and send it back to the access point and the access point send it back to the PC All right, so that's it. You can see the connection is stable. You can find the project files in the description as well. As always, leave a like and uh, make sure to subscribe because it will help me and the channel a lot. Thank you. Bye bye.